They say it all happens when the rubber meets the road. Either you go up and smoke, or you hook up and win the race. Muscle cars have evolved tremendously since the 1960s, with tire technology making some of the biggest advances. This time, we're taking a look back at some of the skins you could get on first-generation muscle cars. Tires were more of a necessity and a safety item in the mid-1960s. Tire companies went out of their way to advertise traction in poor weather conditions like deep snow, heavy rain, and slick ice. Check out the Frank Sinatra looking dude in his 67 Fairlane 500 sporting Firestone wide ovals in the snow. The town and country wide oval winter tire from Firestone, originator of the wide oval tire. Come to think of it, we rarely see snow tires even advertised anymore, as most tires are of the all season variety today. Back in 1965, you swapped on snow tires or even studded rubber tires for the winter time. Just the right combination of deep rubber cleats and tungsten metal spikes to give you twice the traction of ordinary winter tires on ice. But as the performance of muscle cars began to take off, tire companies saw a need for hypo rubber to match. In those days, tires were constructed using a bias ply design, where reinforcing cords ran diagonally across the tire section width, forming the bulged out sides and crew cut flat tread surfaces. 1965 Shelby GT350 Mustangs came equipped with Goodyear Blue Dot Specials, advertised to handle 130 miles per hour. While these might have been considered high-speed skins, their narrow width looks more like a pie tin than a race tire. Wide white wall tires gave way to white pinstripes, which turned into red lines in the mid-1960s. 65 Corvettes even offered gold stripes with knockoff wheels, and blue stripes appeared as well. Some tires featured multiple white or red stripes, with the 65 Thunderbird having both red and white lines. Redline tires have always suggested high performance. But the next craze in tire design was the raised white letter style, oftentimes calling out the size and also advertising the tire company on the sidewall. Tires were starting to become fashionable, as shown in this outrageous ad for Goodyear Wide Tread GTs, or Wide Boots, as they call them. What are the hot cars wearing this year? Boots. Wide Boots GT tires from Goodyear. These boots are made for rolling wherever cars are hot. Wide Boots GT from Goodyear. What sports cars need, they've got. Check the specs. Built low and wide like racing tires. Low cord angle. Four plies polyester cord. Track tested at 130. These boots are made for rolling wherever cars are hot. White boots GT from Goodyear. What sports cars need, they've got. If you drive a high-performance car, you need Goodyear's finest high-performance tire. That is an awesome tire commercial. Goodyear and Firestone were in a racing tire battle, and they took it to the streets with the Goodyear Polyglass and Polyglass GT versus the Firestone Wide Oval and Wide Oval 60s. Goodyear Polyglass tires were introduced in 1967 and combined the polyester cord material with fiberglass belts under the tread and were factory installed on the Pontiac GTO, Dodge Charger RT, Ford Mustang Mach 1, and Chevrolet Camaro Z28. This spot featured an AMX and the squirm fighting Goodyear Polyglass tire. Goodyear fights squirm with the Polyglass tire. The tire with a polyester cord body and a fiberglass cord belt. Polyglass. The polyglass tire holds the wide tread firm so it squirms less, wears less. See the difference after 18,500 miles. Bite squirm. Get up to double the mileage with the polyglass tire. Only Goodyear has it. Note the spider motor wheel used in another Goodyear polyglass commercial. Goodyear Polyglass GTs were similar, but in the shorter 60 series sidewall ratio for better cornering. The Firestone Wide Oval was also available on brand new muscle cars. 
Firestone Wide Oval Super Sports are shown on this 1967 Camaro and featured a similar bias ply design and were also sold in a 60 series. The Firestone Super Sports Wide Oval, nearly two inches wider for a faster start, sharper cornering, a cooler running tire built with rugged nylon cord for maximum high speed safety, stops safe and quick and adds the look of excitement to your car. Get the tire shaped for your kind of driving. The original Super Sports Wide Oval Tire. There were many other performance and racing tires available for muscle cars, like the m and Race Master and JCPenney AFX Slick Tires, all the way up to the Mickey Thompson Indy Profile Street Tires. Other performance raised white letter bias ply tires included the General Grabber and Atlas Mark IV, General Grabbers, as seen on this Mercury Cougar, featured a triple red line design. With three red rings. Atlas tires were SO gas station replacements, but their Mark IV featured red line styling and decent performance for the price. From the Atlas Mark IV, 35,000 miles or more from $39.95. Soon, bias ply designs evolved to higher technology radial tires, with steel cords going straight over the top of the tire from rim edge to rim edge. And these provided better cornering and wear resistance. Popular radial tires included names like the Goodyear Eagle, ProTrack, and Firestone 500, among many others. Problems with the Firestone 500 coming apart triggered massive recalls and almost buried the company in the 1970s. But perhaps the most popular raised white letter radial is the BF Goodrich Radial TA. Some of these cool vintage bias ply tires are reproduced today, but many are original on some of the cars we featured from the Brothers Collection, like the Goodyear Blue Streaks found on this 1968 Shelby GT500 from episode 249 of Muscle Car of the Week. A couple of years ago at the SEMA trade show, I was chatting with a tire executive, and we both agreed that burning rubber is one of the best smells for gearheads, but for different reasons. For me, it was the thrill of speed and racing. He just said, tire smoke smells like money. We hope our look at vintage muscle car rubber didn't tire you out. But uh, don't worry, we'll be back with something else cool from the Brothers Collection next time on Muscle Car of the Week.